The Volvo Adventure Award is not merely a competition. It is also an educational program for young people from all over the world. This year, almost 400 entries were received. 15 teams were nominated to the final in Gothenburg, and in May, it was time for expectant young people from all over the world to travel to Sweden and present their projects. In the audience sat many Swedish schoolchildren who were extremely impressed with the competition entries. I think it's good. I, I mean, like, you learn a lot, you know, from uh, for global warming and what everything has an impact on the world and stuff. So. Yeah, I think it's pretty good for making people aware of what's going on in society and how you can change it. I liked how they could get our attention with some clothes they were wearing, for example, Europe and stuff, and when they were singing or when one country danced. Yeah, that, that was a good part. It is a forum where we can create awareness on the environment. Secondly, it creates role models to this world, whereby they can see young people can make a difference. So, of course, in addition to being a competition where they get awards, I think the lesson here is about awareness creation and the actions by young people. During their stay in Gothenburg, the young people also made time to visit Universium, a very well-known science park. Uh, it's about 26 degrees in here, but because the humidity is about 90, 100%, it feels really hot, so be prepared for rainforest climate. I gotta admit, the rainforest was quite nice. It was humid, very hot in here, but nice. It was very interesting to walk around, see the monkeys, all that. Eight minutes and counting, guys. Eight minutes. You've got eight minutes to complete this task. You're working on commercial rates. Keep going. Every year, while the jury is meeting, the groups get together and they choose an issue. This year, it's water issues. So they're preparing a statement looking at what are the key issues. Uh, I mean, 15 countries from around the world, all of them have got different issues with either too much water, too little water, bad water quality, good water quality, all of those things. This is a chance for them all to discover what the common issues are, what the differences are, and also to discuss what actions they would like to see people like the UN or their national government make to, to address those problems. No, no, Can I ask you a question now? Yeah. So, if this is the river, ah. okay, then the dam would be over there. Yes, as okay. a person, And then, do you do you stop all of the water flow? No, no, no. it's it's you working. Let, you let and, some ah, water go right. through. We let some water all the time. Oh, okay. Don't let us go home, from so. Okay, the pipes. Okay. So just yeah, and heavy rains again when there's. No we have uh, the sustainable development committee. That is the committee that we are on, and we will surely share with our community all that we have learned and try to take initiatives to solve these problems. We've learned a lot about them. We've learned so much, and there's so much to tell. So it's a wonderful idea to have an international conference like this, because what better way to learn of water issues than from the people themselves from these communities around the world. The Volvo Adventure Award, that is a collaboration between Volvo Cars and the United Nations Environment Program, is, to a large extent, about exchanging experiences with one another. Amongst other things, Erin and her friends heard about a somewhat different environmental project on the little African island of Comoros. I mean, it's a fascinating story. A small island off the coast of Africa, getting towards Madagascar. These guys were once poaching turtle eggs. They're now saving turtles. So we had to get them in. The first thing I put here is <laughs> the water. We have some opinions different, but we have some which are especially um, for the saving of our water. It's very, very sometimes very similar, and we we feel that although we're from different countries and we're far away, but, but we can have the same opinion. Yeah. <laughs> A 
visit to Gothenburg without a visit to Lisa Berry is not a real Gothenburg visit. Lisa Berry, which is one of Europe's finest funfairs, never fails to impress. I'm going to say people waste water. Yes. Okay, is that what you wanted? That's good, one. Okay. This is good. The one thing I've noticed is that young people are getting more knowledgeable and their actions are getting more, um, how would you put it? I think you'd say they're getting more refined. They're, it's, it used to be a case of, oh, we can get a recycling scheme going in our school. Now, a lot of these projects, they're not content with staying in the school, they're going out into the local community. Some of them are even lobbying their, their national governments. So it's, their expectations about what their environment is going to be has changed. All grown-ups, when they see that um, children or, or small, uh, younger um, people like us um, are interested in something and they want to, to make them listen to their voice, they sure they're going to listen. Like a dam to make, to, okay. to make the, the water don't flound. It's a great action in the world. I think it's a big uh, thing that the, all the students around the world can contribute it, uh, because it's a big uh, event to change ideas and information and culture. Right. But the pollution effects and sandstorms, do you think those are effects on you, effects on where you live, or effects glo globally? Um. Um, basically, I'd it's say just about everywhere, really. Do we agree that we, pollution is global? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It is a really serious problem, this the, uh, environmental problem, but we can learn that we can make a chance. Change. We are not a change <laughs> difference, yes, uh, because. Um, if we are young, maybe we, we, we just learned that there are so many informations about damage and uh, oh, it's going to be ruined. But, but if we learn something here, we will just feel optimistic because we can do something. And if we, we for example, are all important, yeah, right? we, we fly, to, fly to Sweden uh, by airplane and we can and plant we can some trees, trees to, to recover uh, their uh, uh, <laughs> carbon dioxide yes. yeah, but It will keep balance and it will improve the environment. Yeah. That's right. <laughs>